Good morning. My name is Tracy Matthews. I am the staff liaison to the Business Advocacy Committee for the Campbell County Chamber of Commerce. Today I'm visiting with candidate Deej Reardon, who is running for the Office of County Commissioner. We've invited Mr. Reardon to talk with us today on his views on the business issues here in Campbell County. First off, Mr. Reardon, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Tracy, and thank you for inviting me down here to talk to the uh, community. My name is Deej Reardon. I've been a uh, resident of Campbell County since 1990. I've lived in Wyoming my whole life, and I'm pleased to be here to talk to the public about uh, my candidacy, candidacy for um, Campbell County Commissioner. Our first question for you today, are you in favor of the optional 1% tax? Why or why not? Tracy, I am in favor of the optional 1% tax. I think the 1% tax does a lot of great things for Campbell County. A lot of people get focused on the fact that there's a percentage of it, and a very small percentage of it, is given to the nonprofit organizations to help them around town. I think that's a critical part of it, but that's a small part of the 1% uh, tax and what it's used for. 1% tax is used for a lot of things around town. For instance, uh, roads, bridges, infrastructure, uh, building needs, and it also supports critical things like the uh, Yes House, the Senior Center, the Rec Center, things that help people and make a quality of life in Campbell County a nice place, a great place to live. So I do support the 1% sales tax. Thank you. What do you feel are the key responsibilities of the role of County Commissioner? I think the key responsibilities are obviously managing and, and more importantly setting the budget for Campbell County based upon the assessor's uh, assessment. The Campbell County commissioners are in charge of that budget, setting the budget, working with the department heads to make sure that the budget is done correctly, and then uh, hiring those directors and managers of the 16 plus departments within Campbell County that spend that money. That money is critical to the operations of Campbell County and I think hiring the right people to do those jobs, giving them the tools, giving them the support, uh, setting the budget and letting those people manage and work that budget are critical uh, for Campbell County. And I think the commissioner's role is to do just that. Help them set the budget, get out of their way and let them do their job. Awesome. Thank you. And finally, what would you do to improve the overall business climate in Campbell County? Well, I've had a first-hand experience with this. I was the, a board member of the Campbell County Economic Development and a uh, president of that board for a couple of years. So I have a close-up of what happens with that uh, board and what goes on behind the scenes. It's very difficult as far as economic development goes um, with Gillette and Campbell County because it's always been a ranching, oil and gas, and coal county for a long time. That's carried the load for Campbell County and for Gillette, quite frankly. Uh, now that we've had a downturn in oil and gas and coal at the same time, we've come to realize that we depend a lot on coal, coal and oil and gas to support Campbell County and the state of Wyoming. I think that we need to be looking at other things to diver diversify both within this county and the state. Uh, some of those things are uh, expanding the businesses that are here. There's a couple of great success stories that have come out of Ca Campbell County. and. I don't know if it's the appropriate place, but putting a plug in for them, uh, visionary communications on a uh, technical side of the business and L&H uh, machining have both expanded outside of Gillette and Campbell County, and they've done a great job. Those are grassroots businesses, uh, small businesses that started off with just one or two people and worked their way up to the businesses that they are today. And I think they're great examples of what can happen with uh, just generic growth and, and small growth within a company. I think we need to be looking at encouraging other companies that are already here to grow. I think we need to be making the business climate uh, favorable for people coming into Campbell County. And I think we need to be looking at the college to expand what they do both in their programs that they currently offer. For example, the nursing program. We have over 60 applicants for a nursing program that we can only take 25 or 30. I think we ought to be expanding that program so that we can be a regional training center for nurses um, and expand our the number of teachers that are there, expand the programs um, for the nursing program in, of, in and of itself. I think we also need to be looking at what other programs that they can start up. Um, for example, one idea that was brought to me was hoteliers, uh, training people to uh, own, operate, manage hotels 
uh, because of the tourism industry, and it, which also affects Wyoming. Um, the tourism industry needs people that can run hotels and do it successfully. And I don't think that we have that right now. At least I travel quite a bit and I see that. I think that that's an opportunity that we can take a program, start it up, develop it, and become a successful program for Gillette College. I don't think Gillette College is used as um, well as it could be used at this point. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Anything else you would like to say? Uh, I would like to say thanks, number one, for you coming to visit, um, le allowing me to come and visit. And I really look forward to serving the uh, citizens of Campbell County if I'm fortunate enough to be elected to the county commissioner's position. Thank you very much. Thank you.